what's going on husky family welcome to another week at home pe um hey by now most of you or a lot of you have had at least a little bit of a of, of some time in a hybrid setting at school so i just want to say i'm really excited for those of you who had your your small cohort time at um school so far and i hope it's gone well i know that a lot, those of you i have talked to said it's been really fun seeing your friends in person again and you're really excited to continue to grow into the hybrid setting and see everybody or see as many as you can in person so i'm really happy to hear all that and i just want to send uh, good good vibes your way and I hope it continues to go well because I've heard nothing but good things so far So congratulations, you've started that awesome process if you're kindergarten and first graders Some of you have been doing this for a little bit because you're kind of like getting to be pros by now But anyways, I just want to say that's great. And I'm really excited for all of you. Um, hey because you have hybrid going on It things are crazy right now. You're in transition. You're at school one day. You're at home one day I don't want to give you too much to think about for this at home PE Because uh, it's just you've got a lot going on this week and it's first week back from spring break So we're gonna ease into it we're doing a simple basketball themed activity activity called Beavers Basketball. Okay, so as a lot of you know, the men's the Beavers men's basketball team uh, made it to the Elite Eight for the first time in a very 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 long time, older than I am actually, at that many years. Uh, so um, I thought we'd just do a really simple activity to celebrate that fact because this is a really big deal. It's a really big accomplishment. Um, we're gonna do a shooting activity, and if you, if you've been you're in third, fourth, fifth grade. It's gonna be kind of like pig, you know, when you you know, or horse when you play shooting activity. If you miss it, you get a letter. The only difference in this activity, you you get a letter if you make it. And the 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 word you're trying to spell is beavers. Okay, so if I made my first shot, I get the letter B. Second shot E, and I'm just trying to make B E A B E R S. All right, and I and just to make it a little fun. I can time myself. I'm gonna time myself today to see how how long it takes me to make that many shots in a row. I'm gonna have two baskets. They're kind of hard to see. I wanted to do it outside because it's such a beautiful day out here. And I thought you'd all appreciate getting to see some sunshine in the video, and also maybe to encourage you to get outside and do this activity because it's it's gonna be beautiful. It's, right now it's Tuesday. It's gonna be even nicer tomorrow on Wednesday. But as you can see, I've got a laundry basket kind of <laughs> right there. Okay, it's hard to see because it's all white, and then a plastic bin right there. So those are my two makeshift basketball hoops. Um, I do have two basketball hoops on the street that I live on, but a lot of us don't have two basketball hoops. You can do this with one basketball, okay, or one hoop or one target. If you know, if I was going off my white bin there. I could shoot it and then run back to a starting point every time I go to shoot, but it's fun to do with two shots, hoops. So what you'll see me do is, you'll see me start one one um, basket and I'll shoot to the other one. Okay, if I miss it, I'm just gonna run, pick it up, I'm gonna shoot from the one that, that I just shot at and back to the one I just ran from. Just going back and forth, back and forth. You miss it, no big deal, you don't get a letter. If you make it, you get one letter. Time yourself, see how long it takes you, okay? So I'm gonna demonstrate this for you real quick. And if my shot goes in and bounces out, I'm just gonna count it today because these, these are not nets, they're, they're hard plastic bottoms. So we'll see how that goes. But here I go, we're gonna give it a try. I'm gonna start my timer. And if it takes me longer than I hope it will, I'll just speed up this uh, this attempt for you all so you don't have to watch watch me shooting forever. Okay, stopwatch is starting right now. Here we go. So, whew. looks like it took me about a minute and 45 seconds. 45. Um, you can try to do my time if you want. Don't worry about it. It's more about just practicing. Keep, I mean, we haven't done basketball for a year, but most of it, when you're shooting, keep your wrist and elbow below the ball. Non-dominant hands just on the side, okay? Shooting. If you're one of my kindergarten or first grade friends, just focus on keeping both hands under the ball and pushing the ball upward. If that's really too hard, if you have a small ball, you can throw underhand style too. It's okay to throw underhand at your target with one or two hands, but if you're my upper grade friends, I expect you to do your best to do a proper basketball shot, okay? As for how far away your targets are, that's up to you to decide. Grade five or grade four, maybe a little further away. Kindergartners, maybe, you know, three or four big steps away from each other so it's not too hard on you because I want to have you, get you have some success. So again, that's B-E-A-V-E-R-S. So you're trying to make seven shots as fast as you can. You get one letter for each shot. Okay, well, have a good time with this activity. Like I said, if you go outside, do it. Give that a try. If not, that's okay too. Um, and let me know how long it took you to get your, uh, your beavers spelled out. All right, have fun. Go beavers. I'll talk to y'all later. 